Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I'm Stefania. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from my previous videos, it's not a point with me, it's not a flip through, it's not uh, a real tutorial, I would say it's more a uh, let's talk about. Let's talk about a spread that I think it's my favorite spread and uh, I think it's also yours. Because uh, since I've started posting this on Instagram, people always went crazy with this post, with this type of tracker. And uh, at the beginning I was getting so many questions, uh, especially from my followers, because they were like, how does it work, what it is, things like that. And uh, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, and uh, this is my productivity tracker. I would say that my followers on Instagram uh, now are used to see this one, and so they don't ask so many questions anymore. But I wanted to talk about it, and the reason why I have two notebooks here is because I wanted to show you one from last year and one from this year. I will use uh, the productivity track from December 2022 and the one from January because uh, I did uh, a little... I would say I changed a few things, but honestly probably it's mainly one thing. So let's start from opening them. Here we have December 2022 and here is January 2023 as you can see this is, is already the thing that it's missing in this one but I'll talk about it pretty soon let's start from saying that I am not the person that came out with this tracker I think the original creator was I guess Ricardo I'm not sure I will link uh, that video I haven't seen uh, the video in so long so if you want to know how this was born and how to actually use it according to let's say the original plan you can go and check out that video because uh, in this video I'm gonna explain you how this works for me so how I use it since uh, I've changed a few things because uh, I took that idea and I made sure to create something that, that would have fit me. Like, uh, it's something that works for me because I use it. It doesn't have to be something that works for everybody. It has to work for me. So I thought about doing this video for this reason and not to just explain all over again things that have been already said in other videos. Plus, if you're curious, you can search uh, Productivity Tracker on YouTube and a lot of videos will come out. I'm pretty sure about it. If you've seen the original video, if you've been uh, following uh, the person who came out with it at the very beginning, you probably noticed that uh, the original one was divided in levels. I would say there were three levels and there was also a small space uh, here where you could write things that were actually planned. Like uh, today I want to do these two things and you were put in there and then you were actually looking throughout your productivity trackers to see if you've actually have done those things but since I don't need it uh, I decided to not create it I don't even want to have the levels so I just took them off let's start from the very beginning what is a productivity tracker well thanks to the name it's pretty clear it's a tracker so you're gonna use this spread to keep track of your productivity how do I create it? It's extremely simple. You just create a grid and that's it, nothing complicated. And I put on the left the numbers, which are actually the date. So, for example, in January I have 31, while in February I'll only have 28. And then I have enough space to fill in for a few activities each single day. How does this work? Before starting it, you have to decide what you want to keep track. What are these things that make you feel like uh, at the end of the day, you can say, oh, I've been extremely productive today. I've done this and that and this and that. And then you can divide them in category. I started with a few at the beginning uh, when I first created this spread. It has been uh, I would say I've been doing it for a year and a half, I would say, I'm not sure. And at the very beginning I only had a few and then they kept on growing and I started changing things. I added more things, took some other off. I decided to divide them in as household, self-care, Instagram, YouTube, work and other. For example, I didn't have a section for YouTube before I started 
creating videos on YouTube. So it's a section that I've decided to add later on. When you start, you decide your categories and you decide what to put in inside them. For example, in self-care, I have workout, I have reading. I also had, for example, a face mask whenever I do one or whenever I wash my hair. Household, for example, whenever I do the laundry or if... Uh, I also have one for cleaning and one for the dog, but let me explain this. This is for whenever I bring the dog outside for a longer walk, so not for a normal one. It's not like a, this poor dog doesn't get out at all, absolutely no. I mean, he loves spending time in the garden itself, so it's already barely inside, but I keep track of only longer walk, if we can say it that way. Instagram, for example, I have whenever I post, whenever I take a photo or edit it and so goes on. This is divided in section. So you'll decide your category and what to put inside it. And you'll give uh, a color to the category and uh, a little doodle for each single action. For example, for reading uh, I have this one, for workout this, whenever I check emails uh, and I should do this more. I have this one and things like that. Let's say that some of these changes throughout the months and so it is, it's quite old but some things change, some stick like this. Every single time I do something, uh, it's quite simple. I do that specific action that day, I'll just take the color of the category, color the little square and then draw the doodle inside. The best thing of having different categories and having a color for each single category is that then you can use the same icon for multiple things. For example, my icon for editing photos on Instagram is the same one as editing videos for YouTube, but YouTube has a color and Instagram has another. For example, I can tell you that on the 7th of December, I edited a uh, photo for Instagram and uh, also, this is randomly, I also edited videos, but what makes you understand exactly what you've done is the color and the doodle together. I think it's quite easy to understand how it works, so today I do this thing, I color the little square according to the category and then I draw the correct doodle. Why I love this tracker so much is not only because it helps me to keep track of my productivity, but sometimes it makes me be more productive. How can this happen? It's quite simple. Whenever I start looking at this page, I can see if I've been more or less productive, okay? If there's gonna be a day in which uh, I see for example that I only have two squares and nothing else I'll be like oh wait I want to be more productive today and maybe I'll do something just to add more things in this line here so don't get me wrong I'm not trying to tell you in life you have to be productive every single day absolutely no taking some time off and uh, also doing nothing it's important in life so do not think that every single day you have to be this super extremely productive machine, let's say. You just have to find your own balance. Also, sometimes there are things that I've decided to add or not according to different things. For example, maybe some people would consider posting on Instagram. Why would you consider it boosting your productivity? For me, it's because it takes time, it makes me feel like I've done something. Instead of uh, only scrolling through the app, I actually do something which is uh, I took the time to take a photo, to edit it, to post it, write something about it, and then uh, I try to reply to the comments. So it's something that it's like uh, instead of wasting my time staring at the screen, I try to do something more. Other things aren't only for productivity. I think I've started using this as a productivity one and I added other things, but I would say that at the beginning it was just a productivity tracker. Then I quite have changed my mind. 
like uh, the whole I was looking at it, it wasn't just being uh, productive. It was about uh, understanding uh, how I was spending my time. So the choice was do I do something or I do nothing, y you know? And uh, the fact that I decided to give these categories uh, helped me understand uh, a lot. For example, watching uh, a show on Netflix uh, will not increase my productivity itself in the specific of doing something uh, to be more productive, but it's gonna be probably a good thing for me, like uh, it's gonna be an amount of time that I'm gonna take off from uh, other things just to focus on having some time for myself so to just relax and do nothing if not looking at Netflix so I would say that the categories and what you're gonna track it's very personal and it depends on how you're gonna see this for example if you want to see this as a productivity tracker for I don't know school for example you for sure will not add certain things but for me, this was uh, something more than just productivity. I would say that uh, it was really like that, just to keep track of how I was spending my time, but at the same time with things that would make me feel good at the end of the day. And so instead, uh, oh look, I took care of myself because instead of doing nothing, I've decided to just go and have a little workout or clean the house, do something, you know? Now that we're gonna move on from this thing, I don't even know if I've explained it myself extremely well, probably not, because I think it depends on your mindset. There are people that probably would never keep track of Instagram, so whenever they post or whenever they interact with others on that social media, there are others instead that maybe if their job is focused on social media will do that. I would say that at the beginning I chose a few categories and the more the time was going on, the more my mind was changing toward this. I wasn't approaching it as being more productive, but use better your time. I don't know if it makes sense, but for me it does. I said that some things changed from last year and this year, and basically it's the Dutch door. I was really tired of recreating it each single month and at the end of the day for example in the last few months of 2022 every single month there were the same things I didn't change anything and so I was quite tired of drawing this every single time so this year I decided to get rid of it and instead I've created some I would say you can call bookmarks so you can call them however you want but I simply put for example the beginning of the month I've done it here I put them here with my let's say things of the month and I can move them from month to month what changed from last year I saw some colors because I had to change them in some cases I ran out of the color in others I just wanted to change and here you're gonna notice that it was all here like I had no more space I couldn't create a 15 Dutch doors you know and this year I've decided instead to change a little bit so I can have more space in case I will have more things throughout the year. For example, at the moment Instagram I only keep track of these four things but maybe one day we want to add more. For example, instead of keeping just for posting, I will want to keep track of whenever I post actually a reel and I will come out with something else and I will hide it here. So this allows me to grow a little bit more and there are the same category that I had last year so for social media I have Instagram and YouTube I have work I have other which are things that don't fill in the other categories I have household and I have self-care and then there's one more but it's something that I'm still working on a project so I don't want to share anything about it yet and uh, this definitely saved up a lot of time. I think uh, it was the best idea, also because I'm not good at creating Dutch door, I always end up cutting where I shouldn't, especially here. 
as you can see then once I look at this uh, in the well in I know them by memory so it's not like I need to look at this anymore basically but I decided to create anyway just because in case I want to add more I will but also because if one day I came back and I've changed a lot of things that I'll be able still to read this tracker for example I can see that I worked out here I brought the dog outside for a longer walk this other day I recorded a video I uploaded the video Here's the other thing that probably I still haven't talked about, which I should, is uh, how many doodles will you draw? I'll try to explain to you. If today I'm gonna record two videos, I will use two different squares. One for the first video and one for the other. So for example, if something that happened on the 9th, I recorded two videos. One icon can be used multiple times. If, for example, on a Sunday I decide to go in a deep cleaning and and I, for example, clean for 5 hours, I don't only draw one doodle for that cleaning, because that took more of my time. So this is why sometimes you're gonna see the same doodle with the same color, so the same action, more than once. I don't think there is anything more to say about this tracker, because I think I've explained it, uh, everything about it, at least what I had to say about it. I think that if you want to give it a try, it's uh, a perfect idea. Again, I'm pretty sure that some of you probably wouldn't agree with me with this type of tracker, especially because I call it productivity, but there are some things that maybe some of you will be like, okay, this is not something that you would track on your productivity tracker. But I've decided to keep on calling it in this way because for me it really makes, it helps me to be more productive. Then again, I think it depends on how you decide to see this, how you decide to face it. Self-care, maybe, is something that some people would tell me that's not part of productivity. But I disagree because sometimes you invest time and also money into something that's gonna be useful for you because you're gonna maybe grow yourself as a person, take care of yourself. I think that especially nowadays when mental illness are everywhere and stress and depression are almost in everyone's life, I would say there's not a person who doesn't know what these things are. Taking time for your own self and for your self-care is important. So this is what I've decided to do. Do I think that this uh, is gonna be the same until the end of the year, I don't know. Honestly, I think that maybe I will add more things uh, throughout the year, especially with this new project I'm working on, that I hope to be able to share more about it as soon as possible. So yeah, this is basically how I use this tracker. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, remember to give it a thumb up and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you would really want for me to do a video, let me know about what with a comment and most of all let me know with a comment if you have a productivity tracker or something like this and if you use it or not, what do you track with it. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. See you next time. Bye!